Hi, it's the Goddess Complex LLC, Brittany here, and I'm sharing my screen, which is Power of the Psalms. I talked about this briefly last year on Cards and Coffee, but also talked about it on different videos and things of the nature. This is actually the book, more, probably one of the most powerful books of the Bible, other than Matthew, other than Proverbs and uh, Revelation and things of that nature. Um, I do recommend at this time, especially going into the fall, that you actually get this book this book is available everywhere um amazon if you want the hardback copy which i'm going to actually end up getting uh, i do recommend that one it is then this is an, ex an example of what it actually looks like this covers every er area and avenue of your life including manifesting protection cleansing and uh other different things as a as, as repellent and uh, warding protection work and things of that nature especially if you are a tarot reader if you are some form of a shaman, healer, holistic wellness person, in anything of that nature, because you can actually um, take this and actually put it in any endeavor and craft, whether you're in the corporate offices or even if you are in uh, more so a independent uh, freestyle, freelancing lifestyle of, of that nature, whether you are spiritual, religious, or anything of that nature, this pretty, this pretty, pretty much this book covers everything and you're able to bless your tools your object even if you're working in corporate off in a corporate office or even in a um, domesticated labor um, environment or anything of, of that nature there's something here as well that can actually in this book that can actually help you in all environments and all elements fire earth water air spirit whatever uh, even if you're in the, you involve yourself with uh, the elementals uh, which most people do, especially dealing with magic, even if you are a high priest or priestesses, uh, Babalu um, workings and all the uh, ancestral different workings and stuff as well. Even if you're into the craft or even uh, into the different forms of magic with the elementals and things of that nature. But more so uh, dealing with religious and spiritual aspect, whether you are religious or spiritual, I do recommend this book for the fall. This is probably one of my favorite books so far. You can get a free digital copy um, as well. I'm actually at McDonald's, so um, you may hear something in the background. But um, I do, uh, I did get the uh, free digital book at uh, zlibrary.org or .net. I think it's .org. And when I tell you it's the perfect book, you can download it on your uh, devices and things of that nature. You also can donate to their website to uh, in Bitcoin or even use in certain uh, currency and things of that nature. And you actually can uh, get pretty much any book, but sign up for the website, the actual Z Library um, or Zlib, I think it's Zlib, z-lib.org or .net. And you're able to get uh, unlimited books and things of that nature uh, with a certain subscription or something like that for free uh, by signing up. But of course, if you donate more, um, you get more books and stuff like that for free. Um, if you do not want to sign up for the website, you can get five free books daily, which I think, especially if you are starting your journey or continuing your uh, quest for knowledge and things of that nature. So I do recommend this uh, book, Power of the Psalms, uh, for the fall. I also want to go over a few of them. And I already made a video for TikTok about it and everything as well. Um just for the fall going into the fall this one especially i get something about october so about october because no, starting november 1st and beyond i feel like it's going to be something different and something um i don't know something changing or something different and that's that's the two things i'm getting so from now which is september 1st happy happy labor day to those who um celebrate labor day soon i know i think it's this weekend upcoming weekend is labor day weekend but um also um for the fall um something about october but november 1st energy is going to like change it's something different of course we're going to be moving towards that holiday energy and stuff like that but completely different and i have my notepads so i got some of them uh if you check out power of the psalms if you need a full home exorcism which i do normally recommend I can walk you through it. You can always uh, DM me or anything of that nature and contact me or email me or, or you know, or message me and I can actually walk you through it. Um, taking Psalms 1 to 20, like straight, you're going to read it all the way straight after you cleanse your home and sage and everything of that nature. And you're going to uh, light your white candle and things of that nature. And you're going to read that all the way through. That is a full home exorcism. 
uh, that's only one part of it and that's and and i actually realized that uh, through research especially if you're being gang stalked and different things of that nature all right so um one of the main ones is protecting the children psalms 4 and 44 which is a god which are god's numbers all right um 44 is protecting children from harm i need you to pray that you need to pray and protect and anoint your children more often all right more often do it on a daily basis morning noon night three times a day would be perfect or at least morning or at night all right um psalms what is it psalms 4 psalms 44 psalm 7 and 8 you're gonna pray those for your children all right there are several other ones that you need to pray right now you also can pray certain ones for yourself as well which um it's going to be 89 and 91 of course and 51 all right and also 118 stops dark evil forces 121 is safe travels all right um far as safe travels there are sigils which are based off the angelic the angelic um let's see the angelic uh alphabet which are the angel letters and stuff the, the uh, angel symbols all right um of course over time they've evolved into other different things so what you're going to do is um there's a sigil for safe travel i post it i'm going to find it again and post it again and let me see if i can actually go over to it now safe travels so safe travels you know it's, they're called sigils all right uh, you can go to google and anything of that nature and actually um look at the different wands there are several different wands and let me change my screen over
Hi, it's the Goddess Complex Brittany here, and we're I'm showing you examples of safe travel sigils. Um, which sigils you have to be cautious of what in the world you're doing. All sig sigils are not created equal. These are what you call minor sig sigils, uh, which are like sigils to manifest or uh, general um, sigils. So what you see here um, for the far as this one, like this one would be perfect. Uh, safe travels you can put on your keychain for your car. Um, sigil for road traveling. If you're going to take a road trip, it would be this one. And different things of that nature also uh safe travels here that would be another great one schedule for safe traveling this one of course they're very simple uh be cautious of this the symbol that you have to encase it in normally it's going to be a round circle all right sometimes it'll be a triangle sometimes it'll be something else and then sometimes it's going to be something else all right like this one perfect example safe travels Put it on your keychain, uh, similar to how they do the medallions here. All right, this is rough, yeah, especially for my ladies who have children. And um, ladies and gentlemen, mothers and fathers who have children, uh, Archangel Raphael, before, during, even after your pregnancy, especially just to have on you. Um, I am safe on my uh, travels. This would be another perfect example, which would be this one right here. So there are several different ones that you can choose. There's seven different ones you can choose. I am I have safe travels. I am safe on my travels. This is perfect, especially on the road. If you're on the highway a lot. All right. Plus, you will put a course of uh, Archangel Michael or any type of protection sigil with it as well. And this is an example of how they actually break down the sigil. Not my favorite to do, but something I do know how to do. All right. So this is uh sigils, and this is how they actually create the sigil. Uh, I travel safely, and they break it down. Alrighty, um, there's different ones that you can pick. Like a safe flight would be this one. Perfect. Safe flight, you have to draw it exactly like this. Some people do print print this off, and there's different ways I'm going to show you on the Sage ses session how to actually use these, all right? In different ways. One is the keychain. I posted about um, like this one, safe travels, very sim simple. This one looks more so like a rustic, um, a rustic um, ruin, basically. Like this book right here, the, the demon sigils. I'm actually going to check that one out. What not to do. All right. There's certain sigils you do not want in your home. Um, trust me, I would not. Like this one right here, perfect. And you see how it's on an actual charm. Similar to the medallions, you can do that as well and put it on the keychain. You can print it out as well. You have a little, the little um, labels and stuff, sticky labels and stuff. You can get them from Amazon or Walgreens or Walmart or Target, where they sell printing goods. You can do it like that. All right, protection sigils. Um, there, and you have to be very careful with them. You have to know how to charge them and activate them as well. So you can do a Google search like I did and actually look at examples of them, or you can actually go over to Pinterest. You can actually go to Pinterest. All right. And then you want to go to the search bar. You're actually going to go type in uh, travel. Let's say travel sigils. Bam. All right. It's pretty much the same thing from Google search. Because a Pinterest is pretty much going to dominate a lot of stuff. Um, just be cautious. Use one that you're drawn to, and I will get more than one. Normally, I get maybe one or two or three and uh, of the similar symbols, and then you're going to uh, use them accordingly. Like I said, there's 15 different ways to use sigils. All righty. Praying Psalms 91 and different things of that nature. That's 15 million different types of freaking um travel business sigils i mean you name it but they can have an opposite um uh, reaction so you have to clear your energy and stuff first before you use sigils you have to clear your home and other different things as well before working with sigils because i didn't work with sigils at the beginning of my um journey i just left that you know i, I left left that to my uh 
higher self to come back later to once I got mature enough and grown enough spiritually to actually want to be uh, comfortable enough to work with them. So that's like a lot of different ones. A lot of different ones. All right. So let's go. Um, another thing, start purifying and blessing your home for the fall because... And when I say because, there is a um, energy coming in. It's more than just fall, of course.
Hi, so we're going to continue with everything. Okay, so protecting and fortifying your home for the fall. Uh, you definitely can um, start blessing uh, salt with Psalms 91 and several different other scriptures of the Bible. And there's also actual salt protection of uh, prayers and affirmation that you can speak over your tools and things of that nature, especially if you have an altar. Um, leaving salt as an offering. Um, be cautious of what you're putting on your off altar at this time. Everything from the food, the candles, making sure everything is clean and kosher. Um, be cautious at this time. Uh, I took uh, food and things off the altar right now and just putting trinkets and things of that nature. Uh, ancestor money, take the ancestor money off the altar for the, uh, for the moment. And so maybe I'll say like November, December, end of this year, the winter, basically. Um, burn your ancestor money. Uh, make sure you are addressing it to your ancestors and elders and, and your spiritual support team and your spirits and stuff like that. And burn it like that. Just be very, um, I would say traditional, but be very thorough with what you're doing ancestral wise and things of that nature. Also, making sure that you're. Um, protecting your home inside and outside, anointing your doors, um, using eucalyptus, because I feel like the spirits are going to be a little different this year for the fall. I'm already getting that. A mixture of good and bad, but just more. So I feel like we're going to have spiritual energy that we're not used to, if that makes sense. And like, is this is like a it's a rich a richness in spirit, and if that makes sense, like when it comes to the spirits and stuff in the fall, uh, making sure you're, I don't, I don't know, guarded, all right? You can hang root or eucalyptus, I prefer eucalyptus, up in the door or essential oils and things of that nature, burning camphor and um, using camphor this fall all the way to next spring is going to be very important as well. Also, using uh, rosemary. If you can't find rosemary, you can always use tea tree. Uh, rosemary, just a little bit better. Rosemary, eucalyptus, and camphor, and also sulfur. Sulfur. Before Halloween, you need to put some type of sulfur something down starting now. Um, protecting the doors and the windows of your home. Cleansing and dusting your home is going to be very important. Um, I have on my TikTok. All right. On my TikTok, I have several different videos of with cleaning match and I am going to come back and show you guys some of the other recipes but I am going to show you um I've already shown how to make the cleanser I normally use uh, and right now I'm using the the brown Lysol which is hard to get since the pandemic uh, it's what they use they used to use in the school system and before they changed over um it has a very unique smell very uh, strong smell to it but not like uh, ammonia or vinegar you can take that cut it with water it's very concentrated to cleanse your home, you can put in essential oils like lavender, cleanse them with lavender, cleanse them with eucalyptus and mint and things of that nature, rue, eucalyptus, um, tea tree, anything of that nature right now to remove uh, different types of spirits and energy at this time toward the home. Be cautious of insects and stuff in the home. I know we have it really bad here, even coming out of our sewer drains and different stuff like that. Um, so that, especially because it's getting ready to be very cold in the, uh, starting this fall. All right. So September and October, be cautious of that. Um, November, I get different energy. It's like November 1st, it's going to go just like this. Of course, there's a, a vortex that opens, uh, or a veil rather. It's going to be different this year, um, for around Halloween. It's already starting now and I can kind of feel the wave, uh, kind of coming in and everything as well. Okay. So. Um, let's see. I think that's everything so far, but blessing your home, protecting your home, wearing and anointing jewelry. I am going to make a, another video. I think I've shown it before, um, in 2019, 2020 on cards and coffee, how to anoint jewelry. I posted about it. So I think I'm going to do it again and just, uh, have to retrain. I'm also taking a bath, spiritual, spiritual cleansing. Should be very good. It's not much effort. It's just if you've never done spirit, have a, if you don't have a spiritual routine, then you have to kind of get used to having a routine. That way it's natural and normal. All right. Um, taking, because sulfur, like I said, sulfur in the home, also using neem to protect, especially my high priestesses and magicians and people who are have prophet, prophetic gifts, angelic gifts taking neem and even uh camper oil or something of that nature and lavender 
um, in anointing your hair because you can put those essential oils in your everyday um, hair products, shampoos and all. So I do recommend lavender, especially for my high priests or priestesses and psychics and things of that nature and prophets and prophetess goes, goes like that and messengers um, who get downloads. Protecting your crown with neem is what I've been doing and it grows your hair like crazy. And um, also, it strengthens your hair as well. Also great for your skin, See, especially wound healing if you have acne scars, stuff like I do. Um, also, um, using lab that with lavender and orange oil and lemongrass and also other different stuff and oils and things as well. You also can use um, eucalyptus. Camper is really big. It's actually quite hard to get here in Memphis, which is kind of weird. So I did order a bottle of, uh, I think it's, it's called Essential. Essential because I keep it in my bag. And carrying your protection oils and stuff is going to be big as well. And, of course, I have a shop, uh, an online store. I keep protection oil, prayer oil, different things of that nature with me. So that'll be great at this time. Keep it simple, but keep it... Um, it has to be a little bit more amplified, all right? Um, the brand I use from Amazon is oh, Sun Essential Oils, if you can see it. I'm on my computer. I'm at McDonald's, so the lighting is a little different. So this is a Sun Essential. This is Kemper. And uh, I paid $9.99. Um, of course, if you spend $25 or more, you get free shipping, unless you have Prime. Uh, four ounces, all right? So Sun Essential. It's the brand that I use, but you can actually get the bricks of camphor. The bricks of camphor as well. And um, uh, you can make your own oils and uh, waters and washes. And you can also put in your spiritual baths as well. Because you can mix it with salts and crush it. Mix it with salts and a mortimer and uh, uh, mortimer, and, mortimer and pestle to grind it or a grinder. Some people use a grinder. And you can uh, dissolve it in water. You can make washes with it. And different, it's, it's like 15 million um, different wands. I will have some more book recommendations. But right now, Power of the Psalms is uh, the one for right now. Okay. That book has everything in it <laughs> that you need to fight off any negative energies and spirits. Just to, prepare, just to prep and prepare you for the energies and spirits that are coming in. Some of them will not be good. Um, some of them will be from the angelic realms. Some of them will be from your support team. Uh, some of them will be from the spirit realm. All right. So it, they're it kind of, of course, each season has different, each different ones. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to um, clean, keep your home cleansed and also keeping it spiritually cleansed, which is two different things. Also, what you're going to also do is keeping yourself spiritually clean. Of course, you know, I, keep, I have a, a covering I normally wear. Um, but if you're not going to wear a covering, especially for my ladies who get these sew-ins and who are doing the full uh, 360 frontals and things of that nature, when you get your braid downs, uh, Maya Organics, I think Melanin Hair Care, different different uh, brands, actually, like Cantu, ooh, what is it, Softy even makes a really good one, like a tea tree oil, something like something of that nature. Especially if you're on a budget, you can get tea tree oil and um, camphor or, no, get the rosemary. Mayel makes the rosemary oil. That works perfect. I think you get it pretty much anywhere for like less than like $12, something like that, $12 to $15.99 at the most. And take it and put it on your scalp before you get your uh, frontals put down. Do it like that, edges and all. But make sure you get the middle of your crown section, which is right here, if you can see me, here. And especially if you're getting the... Uh, the swirl braid down uh, parts and stuff like that. Put that on your hair. All right. Any type of oil with, with tea tree and rosemary. Um, sometimes even was it patchouli. Patchouli be have help as well, but tea tree or rosemary, something of that caliber as well. All right. And that's going to help keep you spiritually protected as as your crown. And of course, anointing yourself in prayer and different stuff like that. Um, meditation is really good at this time. And building a uh, repertoire as far as your spirituality for the fall and also winter, but more so we're focused on the fall. I feel like high activity this fall. So just 
keep that in mind. But I also feel like we're going to have more support here in this realm of dimension, also in the spirit realm as well. As you go back and forth, especially if you astral travel, make sure your bedroom is spiritually in alliance. Let's put like that, especially underneath your bed. Uh, any dark spaces, like couches, chairs, rooms where there's not a lot of light and stuff as well. All right? Keep protection there. Lavender works beautiful. Um, especially just watch your altars lately um, with your spiritual activity. Also, watch your front, like your your home, your home life. I know sometimes when you're just in your home, you're so comfortable that you don't pay attention. Pay attention to that spiritually and have like energy, basically. And just um, we'll get more into it. Of course, cards and coffee. I'm going to try to do a live stream Sunday, but we're going to see if the energy is right. All right. So I'm going to try to keep a schedule this fall. Since I didn't uh, have a schedule for really for the summer. So this is Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC. Thank you for listening. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, YouTube, and also Instagram and several other social media platforms, especially TikTok and Instagram, because that's where we're going to do um, cards and coffee on IGTV. The Sage session is also going to be posted on IGTV, and I may do um, YouTube as well, since I have to update my content this fall and winter. So I love you much and I will talk to you and see you all shortly. Love you. Bye. Have a great week. This is Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC. I'm just let you know we have new arrivals coming soon to the Goddess Complex LLC.com over on Squarespace. Check out the link in the bio to shop with us and to learn more information. This is Brittany from the